Hello everyone, my name is Legend Ronnie and this game is Rise of Kingdoms. Now today we're gonna debate the farm accounts, because people are keep wondering farm accounts. How many type of farm accounts there are? <clears throat> Any advices? Everything I can tell you about farm accounts. Now, if you wanna ask me, there's only two type of farm accounts. There is one that will only farm you resources and there is two which you can use it for multiple reasons. But that one is a little bit complicated. So let's start with the first one, the basic one. This is the basic account. The one you see over here, this is one of my farm accounts. This is a basic farm account. So what a basic farm account needs to have. First thing you need to care about is get him to level 17. Once this farm account reaches level 17, you have four troops dispatch queues that mean that means you can farm with four marchers in the same time that is your main priority the second priority on it is make sure you have hospitals maxed out the reason i say hospital maxed out now this might sound a little bit crazy is because farm accounts are always being a target being a target you don't want to keep spending resources on a farm account or keep spending time if you have all your hospitals at level 17, you're noticing that it says here 2,000, 28,000 plus, I suppose that's 10%. Anyway, it's 32,000 when it's level 17. Well, you have four hospitals. Four hospitals at level 17, that's about 130,000 plus 10% or whatever. Um, that's about 140 and something thousand. So that's the amount of troops that you need to have in, in uh, that city and preferably siege. So that's your main goal for your farm account. If I go into my troops, you're noticing I have 148,000. Hospital capacity is 62,000, which is not right. But I'm in a safe kingdom. No, nobody will dare touch my, my farm account, to tell you the truth. That will be the last thing they will do in this kingdom. So I'm. this is a special situation. I don't need to upgrade my hospital. But you're probably going to be in a war zone. You're probably going to be in a war kingdom. So you want to keep this safe. Because if your farm account is being zero, the most thing that you can lose is resources. You'll have your troops. You'll heal them. And you'll go back and you'll, you'll farm again. If you have the hospital capacity. That's why the second most important thing is having the hospital capacity. So don't lose the troops once you reach the number of troops that you need to farm or with your four marches you don't need to train any more troops you're gonna stop you don't need to upgrade buildings any other buildings on your farm account except the trading post the trading post needs to be level 17 as well any other building is not a priority not even the storehouse the amount it gives by keep upgrading it is too low to make a difference it will hold up another 300k resources there's nothing <clears throat> you've done that that's your setup the third thing that you need to care about your your farm account is going to be the commanders now it's entirely up to you if you want to spend time on your farm account on a basic farm account and level up commanders i would say that level 27 is probably the most optimal level for a farm account you have sarka you have guys marius you have john of arc and then you have centurion so you have your four commanders for your four marches that's all you need if by any chance you have cleopatra like i do over there and i can summon it that's, that's just extra i wouldn't bother with legendaries you have the blue ones the reason i'm saying uh, 27 i'm just gonna upgrade her for the purpose of the video I'm just gonna get her to 27. Okay, 27. She went a little bit too high. So once a commander reaches uh, level 27, you will be able to get this. The more, the better. So there you go. Level 27. I have the more, the better. I have the 30% gathering on all the resources. And that's all you need. You want to spend more time or you are very very active on your basing account and you want to get commanders to 37 or 40 for superior tools it's up to you if you want to spend the time for me i would say that this is the the best way you get them to 27 you send four four marches out for gathering and whenever you have time you log in again this account will keep generating 
resources for you. So this is a basic farm account. Level 17, four marches, you know, enough troops for your hospitals. That's it. Then you just keep feeding up your main account or whoever you want to give resources to. That is a basic farm account. We are back with the second type of farm account. So I showed you the basic farm account. Now this is a little bit advanced farm account. Now if you think that it's going to be a even more advanced farm account, it's entirely up to you. This is the two ones that I would advise you to have. So this is the advanced farm account. Right. I'm a little bit struggling with this. It's not exactly where I want it to be yet because I'm trying to do too many things with it. As an advanced farm account, you need to get it to level 22. At level 22, you have five troops dispatch queue. Now, to get a farm account from 17 to 22, that's pretty much costing. And all the resources that you farm, they pretty much go in developing the account. So until you get to level 22, that actually takes some time, so you're not being productive. So that's why it, there is the basic farm account which generate your resources. Once they, you get them, you set them up, they just generate your resources all the time, non-stop. And then you have these accounts, uh, which are basically more advanced. I use these accounts for three things. One, um, that is training a lot of tier four troops for reinforcements. So either reinforcements in in the buildings, reinforcements in rallies, reinforcements in my city if, if I need to, any type of reasons where I need to kill tier 4 troops or need more reinforcements. This account is also on a different Google account, so basically if you have multiple devices you can use this account very very easy. Now that's the first thing. The second thing, it's injuring his troops. You know there is the Mightiest Governor event. Uh, it's the fourth day, now it's the third day, but you know when it's the fourth day on the Mightiest Governor event, it's all about, not the fourth, I'm sorry, the fifth one, it's all about killing, injuring troops, or killing troops, but I prefer injuring. So this is the second thing I'm using this account for. Mightiest Governor event, injuring a lot of troops. That way it will give me points in the Mightiest Governor event and will ease my victory, or you know, achieving first place which I'm usually aiming for. And the third thing that I'm using this account is farming. So I leave the farming on the third place because basically when I call it farming, I'm referring to the idea that I'm transferring resources and I'm, I'm not just farming for this account, I'm transferring resources as well. So all the resources that this account is farming, they go in either training troops, development of the account and having resources for healing because obviously if you want to injure a lot of troops you're going to need healing now the reason i also call this account a little bit advanced is because i do spend on the 30 day uh, gem supply it's nothing crazy for me the 30 day gem supply and when i summon legendary commanders so whenever i summon a legendary commanders i have five available now that means another 50 sculptures those, these are the two things I spent on this account. So it's nothing crazy, but they do pile up. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm buying the speed ups from the merchant whenever they are good value. So whenever they are like 70% and they are healing speed ups, I just purchase them. You see, I, I do have a couple of gems right now because you need healing speed ups or universal speed ups to heal up your troops so you can keep injuring them, injuring them, and injuring them. So this is an advanced farm account. On an advanced farm account, as I said, City Hall 22, so you can have five marches. Trading post is irrelevant because that's going to be like the last thing you're creating this account for. Training troops, that's the main priority. Hospital will help you out. You don't, you don't really need it. Developing touch, yes. I'm doing but nothing crazy, nothing so high because I don't really care about touch. All I care these troops is to either die in, in flags, passes or whenever I need rallies or I just need to injure them. So this is the only thing I care about the troops on this account. And right now he's at almost 800k troops. Not much T4 but all the T3 can be upgraded to T4 so this is not going to be a problem. 
obviously he can go even higher so if I go to the speed ups you're noticing that he has quite a bunch of speed ups yeah there's a lot of troops I can train with this account and there is a lot of uh, healing I can do with this account you know for the, the reasons that I created this farm account in terms of commanders you're noticing that I have one two three four five level 27 that one is 32 because of the reason of uh, the quest is the main quest so it's the main quest where it says upgrade a commander to level 34 and so on and you gain a lot of um, gems when you keep upgrading the city hall so that's the main reason why I actually got that commander to level 32 that's why the other ones they are 27 for the same reason like I explained you in the basic account so I have just five and that's it just five gathering commanders that's all I care now as a side project of mine uh, this farm account because that's why I'm also spending a little bit of money in it has a lot of legendary sculptures has a lot of epic sculptures so my plan is at some point I'm probably gonna max out a legendary and who knows who knows probably this one in the future can be a main account but this is just a side project this is not has nothing to do with uh, with this account right now that is out of the way this is the advanced uh, farming account it's not necessary that you need to spend gems or you need to spend money on it that's just uh, my choice buying the 30 day gem supply which is 10 pounds is, is 9 pounds I'm sorry which is nothing for nothing crazy uh, that's just that's just a choice because you know it's an advanced uh, farm account you can get this advanced farm account without getting those gems and if I go in more info you're noticing that he has 1.2 billion gathered and almost 900 million assistance that means that I sent those resources now at this point this is why it's getting lower because usually it's leveled up the resource gathered with the resource assistance but it's getting lower because I have to spend too much in developing the account at this point so I cannot transfer resources as much as I want to because I keep having to develop this uh, advanced farm account now as extra in this video I'm gonna do the wheel event so all right ladies and gents and now we are back with the wheel event let's get spinning max spin on the wheel event as well so I, I told you the two advices or the two types of farm account that I would advise you if you're interested in one of them. Now we're gonna do max spin on Alexander the Great. Let's see what we get. On the live stream, it was a fairly good spin. Now let's see how far we can get with the speed and where our luck is going to get us. Training speed, I love it when we start with the training speed. I hate the wood, I just don't need the wood, but we love the sculptures. We definitely love the sculptures and oh my god, that was so close guys. That was so close. Anyway, I'm happy with the pool. That's a decent pool. Let's go another five spin on the wheel event. And we got two stars. And we got eight sculptures. Jesus. Another sculptures. Oh my god. This is such a good pool, guys. This is such a good and stars and four stars. Wow. So there's nine sculptures and four stars. You know what? I feel very very lucky and let's keep on spinning that oh that was so close gold we don't really need gold no, we don't need re we need sculptures that's it gold again training speed ups all right okay fairly fairly decent after an eight pull that's a decent one one sculptures and um whew. so far we have 10 sculptures no, you have 11 sculptures. So that's 11 sculptures so far. Oh, and there's no sculptures in this one? That was so close. Twice. Twice. So, so far, 11 sculptures in 20 spins. I would say that's, that's very, very good. 11 sculptures in 20 spins. Start with the stone. I'm okay with the stone, but we need the sculptures. There's 12 sculptures uh, so far. 13 sculptures. I'll go with that. 14 sculptures so far 
this is going great guys this is going really really great let's spin the wheel spin the wheel 15 sculptures I don't count the universals one I only care about the specific ones 15 sculptures uh, still very very good it is in theory is is uh, three sculptures but again I only count the specific one so 15 sculptures for me I'll go with that I'll take them all 15 sculptures again we start with stone not so hyped about stone speed ups definitely really really good stars I need them but not the best training speed ups love them and oof, this one was a little bit rough only 15 so far on my live stream I, I've done 35 which was really really good so this one is only 15 so far and it doesn't want to drop on sculptures again this gives me wow wow just one universal so we are still at 15 sculptures and I got 20 more chances today uh, let's go ahead let's see what else we're gonna get we got some wood food sculptures 16 sculptures that's it come on roll the sculptures that was so yes that's it that's what i want to see that's what i like so we are at 24 sculptures so far let's spin the wheel until we, we're not gonna lose the luck 24 sculptures i want to see another eight pool i want to see another eight pool it is very very possible I feel it I smell it in the air well at least we get one so there's 25 sculptures so far and we got 10 more spins 10 more chances for another eight pull and I it's possible I know that it's possible 26 I'll go with that very very nice 26 27 sculptures 28 sculptures that's a very nice pull and 45 hours of speed ups last five last five i smell an eight that we were at 27 right yeah i think so ah <laughs> oh, that was close that was close for an eight go an eight go last spin an eight well 28 sculptures today of alexander the great so i'm not counting the extra rewards on the first one i got 35 now on this one i got 28 I'm pretty happy with that I'm pretty pretty happy it's fairly decent we still have the oh the 50% one is this gonna be an 8 no it's gonna be more research speed up all right so let's claim this one okay and let's claim this one as well 15 Alexander sculptures all right ladies and gents now that's pretty much all about this video I'm just gonna do another skill on Alexander the Great yep just another skill and tomorrow I'm definitely gonna get him 551 so I'll see you guys on the next video this is your boy Legend Ronnie signing off peace out yo and take care